What's up YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about yet another dual band radio. Yes, we went with Kenwood, not Yesu this time. And I'll get into that probably in a different video. This video is about unboxing this one. I'm willing to give Kenwood a shot. This is a dual band, two meter, 70 centimeter, 50 watt on each band. And it is dual receive. It's like two separate radios split in the middle where the main screen is split in the middle. So you have two different, you can do like a 70 centimeter on one side and two meter on the other, or you can monitor one frequency on one side and a, say re like a simplex here and a repeater here or whatever. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility. You can do cross band repeat, which in a nutshell is if you have a handheld and you have like large property or whatever, and let's say you can't hit any repeaters with a handheld, you have this one set up somewhere on that property, handheld simplex to this, and then this, you know, this sends a signal to the repeater and vice versa. So it gives you, you could basically use a handheld, talk on a handheld and transmit using this 50 watt transceiver. Pick this up at Ham Radio Outlet along with the power supply. And if you haven't seen a power supply video, go ahead and check that out. And without further ado, let's take a look and see what's inside of this box. I've been waiting for a few days to see what's in it. After we open the radio, I have a little MFJ speaker to show you guys, which is just a little eight watt, eight ohm, three inch, by three inch uh, metal mesh front clear tone I think 600 Hertz to 4,000 Hertz response speaker so yeah let's go ahead and open the box let's take a look inside I'm really curious to see how Kenwood does their packaging and just their overall how the radio feels and everything compared to yeah Yesu all right all right so the usual like one two manual Here's the manual, here's the radio. There we go. So we'll, we'll set this aside. Let's go off to the left. Let's see what this is. Okay, so Kenwood supplies you with all sorts of hardware. Okay, a fuse holder and a fuse. You get a mic. And we get the mic clip. There's some screws in here and a really hefty mic clip, so that's nice. We got the mic. Got some weight to it, I like that. That is definitely... It has a metal mic clip, which is awesome. Now right away, this being metal, adds some nice, definitely really nice feel to this mic. Alright. Glide this here and let's get into this. Oh my god, this shoe's heavy. Set her off to the side just for a sec. That's nice. So you get a nice bracket. And I'm assuming the screws for it are here, along with, I just noticed there's an extra fuse in there. So right on Kenwood, yeah, the mounting screws are all in here. That's really good to know that everything you supply is just heavy duty and feels solid, really well built. So I'm really impressed so far. Take a look at the radio itself. So right away, the first thing is it's heavy. For how fairly small it is, it's a heavy radio. It's a really nice size. So the internet doesn't do it justice. On the internet, this whole thing looks bigger. It's actually small. This is a really nice size radio. It's so interesting how size perspective is so different in person versus what you imagine it to be after watching a video. Like right now, this probably looks huge to you guys on the camera, right? But in real life, it's actually small. Like, I mean, I don't have that big of hands there. That's it. Literally the same size as my hand. All right, so let's start from the back. Right away, you could tell very quality built heatsink, fan, SO239 connector, speaker output. You have a, a data and a PC output up here. You have one and two speaker outputs, so you can run two speakers off of it. Your 13.8 volt DC plug with a fuse holder here. So you get a inline fuse in the wiring harness, and you also get a inline fuse in here, which is very smart. A little overkill, but that's always good. That is a beautiful radio. That is a very good looking radio. I like it a lot. Knobs and everything feel good. Buttons feel really good. Just the build quality is really good on it. So far, I really like it. So you have individual volume and squelch on each channel, along with the uh, main knob. Your power button, your tone and your other buttons and functions here. All right, well, that's it. There she is. Uh, you got a speaker up here. It's a metal case top with a pretty hefty size heat sink. Oh yeah, I forget to mention the face is detachable. So as you look over here on the side, there's a little latch. 
So we're going to go ahead and push that forward and down. And then the whole unit detaches. I'm using it in a base station mode at the house, so I wouldn't need to ever detach it unless it would ever go mobile. So there you guys have it. This is the new Kenwood. Well, not the new, but this is new to me, Kenwood V71A. And it's a proven solid design that I've been recommended by many, 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 many people that I've both spoken to online, on the radio, at the shop. Very highly recommended radio. Good stuff. We'll hook it up in the next video. Be sure to check it out. I'll have the speaker hooked up and the radio. Let's take a look at the speaker while I have it out. So I won't be making a separate video for this little speaker. That would be a little ridiculous. So it comes with a mounting bracket. Obviously, we probably won't be using that because we're not using a mobile. Um, some nice mounting screws. It does come with a six foot cable, so you can mount it quite far away from the radio. We stretch it completely across your car. And yeah, it has a metal front mesh. It's got some weight to it. Should sound pretty decent. Set it right on top. Well, there you guys have it. So we have our Kenwood V71A with the MFJ clear tone speaker model MFJ 281. So be sure to stay tuned for the next video where where we're gonna have this radio connected to the power supply, have it all running. We'll do a few radio checks, see how it sounds on the air. And we'll be sure to hook up the speaker and see how that sounds too. So hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.